Booze, brews, and bands. Brew York happening in Sackets Harbor tomorrow. We find out tonight with Seven News reporter Lexi Bruning what the event will benefit. Preps are being made on the eve of Brew York. Good to go, man. I appreciate it. Where a field in Sackets Harbor will turn into a one-day music festival for all ages. Ten bands, full music fest. We're bringing on two stages this year, which is huge. Brew York is a place to have fun. It's also a place to give back. Proceeds from merchandise sold at the event will go to a North Country family with a child battling cancer part of Brew York's Rock Out Childhood Cancer Foundation. Last year, the event raised $3,000. This year's sponsor, seven-year-old Harrison Horning from Adams. He was recently diagnosed with a brain tumor. His family says they're grateful for the outpouring of support from the community. If they don't have to worry about their, their mortgage for a month, their, their light bills for a month, you know, I mean, it's, it, there's a strain on the family and, and we'd like to help out. It's an initiative close to Price's heart. March of uh, 2022. I was diagnosed with uh, stage four colon cancer that metastasized to my liver. Two months cancer free, Price says helping childhood cancer patients inspired him throughout his own journey. And talking with them and, you know, it kind of inspired me to take a child's approach to it, you know, and being naive to it and, you know, not, you know, when you feel good, you do what you can. When you feel bad, you rest. I mean, just like a kid would do. And, and that's why you see so many kids beating this so gracefully. Other proceeds will also help North Country first responders and personnel. Two stages, 10 acts and a day filled with music. The gates open Saturday morning at 1145. The first band begins at noon. Lexi Bruning, 7 News.